A Highland gamekeeper is almost as much a creature of the woods and moorland as are the birds and animals in his charge. He carries his gun to destroy their enemies, the vermin, the foxes, the stoats and the weasels. He knows the secret ways of the forest and can from close to watch the shy, elusive deer. Skiing is a comparatively new sport in the Highlands, but it is one that has attracted many hardy enthusiasts from all over Britain. In these northern parts of our island, skiing is by no means solely a winter sport, for this is June. Another newcomer is the hiker. Of course, there have always been mountain climbers, but they were not so long ago regarded as rare and adventurous spirits. Today, the mountain scenery of Scotland is open and accessible to the youth of the country. Upon every weekend in spring, summer, autumn, and in some years during the winter, the young people of the towns of Scotland pour out into the highlands to wander along the old hill paths, to climb the trackless mountains, to fish in the streams and burns, to camp beneath the stars in the open air, and, perhaps most ardently of all, to enjoy the unsurpassed beauties of the scenery. And what scenery it is, too! Along a sea coast as beautiful as any in Europe, the traveller will see some of the old castles which have fallen into decay and disuse. Some have been destroyed in the clan warfare which once ravaged the highlands. Their gaunt shells remain to speak to us silently of the more turbulent highland past. But he will also see some like Castle Urquhart on the shores of Loch Ness, which are still comparatively undamaged and some like Ellen Donan on the west coast that are still inhabited. Amongst the most famous of the inhabited castles of Scotland is Glam's, which lies upon the eastern border of the Highlands. Scottish baronial in origin, it bears traces of French chateau influence, reminding us of the days when there was an old alliance between Scotland and France and when stonemasons and builders, as well as students and scholars, showed this alliance in their work. The crypt of the castle is nearly a thousand years old. Macbeth was Thane of Glamis, and the structure of this dark and eerie room can't have changed much since his day. Next to the crypt, there is a room which Shakespeare has made famous. It is the room in which Duncan, King of Scots, was murdered by Macbeth. Heard a voice cry, sleep no more. Glam's hath murdered sleep. Macbeth shall sleep no more. James V, a later King of Scotland, surveys the scene. 